Born in 2001, the life of Brian Chira took an early turn as he lost his mom at an early age. He never really knew his father and would be raised by his grandparents. An exemptional kid, Brian Chira's entry into the entertainment scene can be traced back to when he was doing drama in Kubu Boys High School. After high school, he joined Kabara. It's at this time that one day he was invited to a high-end party in Mombasa. He gets hosted by a friends, they get drunk, and after getting way too drunk, Brian was assaulted by a man and infected with HIV. He says he was given PrEP, but not given the right directives on how to take the medications, and he ended up contracting the disease. I wouldn't say this was the genesis of his alcoholism, but it might have spiraled from here. Even when we got to know him, he was a funny drunk eyewitness on a road accident. Yeah, ajali hiyo ikitukia. Utanza tu kwa ufupi, jina lako ni nani na nini haswa ilitendeka? Naitwa Brian Chira. And I saw the whole accident. It happened that a lorry was coming up from the other side and there was a matatu. I love who it just kulianza cries ilianza watu walianza kushaka he would capitalize on this and cement his social media dominance especially on tiktok with a number of controversial videos but also with his catchphrase money but kama we si pesa wezi ni pay stress jira would receive a fair share of criticism from netizens who did not understand him there is a question of was he doing all this for him? Was this the old drama Chira being dramatic? Chira was already going through a lot in his personal life. From recent events, we can clearly see he had issues even with some of his family members. Maybe from his personality, sexuality and social media image. So could these videos be the only thing that Chira found peace in making? Was TikTok chaos the only comforting pillow to his lonely self aside from his love drama? It's sad that Chira would leave us in such an early age. Sami Tandao Brian Chira amefariki dunia. Report ya polisi na sheria kuwa Chira alifariki baada ya kugongwa na lori katika barabara ya Ndenderu kuelekea Ruaka eneo la Gasharage. Inadaiwa kuwa Chira alikutana na mauti yake baada ya kutoka. Sad that there were TikTokers who went to his family just for likes and more followers. Even I am making this video about him at this time because I know it will have more views. The truth is we have failed and we keep doing it again and again. Because it is at this moment I look at Chira's videos and I see sadness in him. <laughs> The man could have been going through a lot, and sadly, alcohol and TikTok were his escape route. We failed to give him his flowers. I hope now he has a legacy of positivity and lives on as a mirror we can reflect on. You could say he was just a TikToker, but look at the numbers he brought together. He might just have been a boy from Gedongori, but the man died a hero. Rest in peace, Brian Chira. And I hope, I truly hope, creators won't start rising to create negative videos about him just because they know it will get them more views and more attractions. I hope by now we can let the man rest in peace and maybe find the peace he was looking for.